We've been in Bosnia and Herzegovina for two weeks now and we have loved every single thing that we've seen in this country. We just arrived in Mostar which is the last town that we're visiting here and we cannot wait to get out and start exploring. Even though we've been in Bosnia and Herzegovina for the last two weeks, we really did not have any idea what the second half of the name Herzegovina meant. So I went to the Herzegovina Museum to hopefully get that cleared up a little bit. And it actually turned out to be an incredibly interesting museum. A lot of the reviews online said that it wasn't worth the five euros, but I thought it was definitely one of the more interesting museums that we've been to. It covered such a wide range of topics and the people there were extremely passionate about it and super happy to talk with me about it. It started off, they took you into a video room. I was the only one there, they had to turn on all the lights for me. The video pretty much went over the history of the bridge, showed videos throughout time of people jumping off of it, and then the more devastating part, which was during the war in the 90s when it was completely destroyed. But then the video took a happier turn and the bridge was rebuilt in 2004 and they're shooting fireworks from it and having a big celebration, which was just really cool to see. Like I said, one of the one of the coolest things about this museum was the fact that the person working there, maybe the curator, he was very, very passionate about it. He came in and was just rapid fire talking about it, giving me a history lesson from the 1400s till now. And it was just really, really fun to see. It's, it's so cool to have people just be really passionate about where they're from. And I think that may have been what some of the reviewers saying it's not worth it were missing, was like the personal touch of, of the people. Because if it were just the pictures, it may have been a little more boring. But that being said, it wasn't all just pictures. There were two rooms, one that was displaying furniture and clothing and tools that a villager would have used during the Ottoman era, and then what a more rich person's life would be like during the Ottoman era. And those were super fascinating. I, I especially liked the rich person's room because they had artwork, they had very, very nice Turkish tea <laughs> sets, and other pieces of nice furniture and like really intricate clocks. And things like that. Overall, I think it was definitely worth visiting. And I guess to answer the question of what is the difference between Bosnia and Herzegovina, I was talking to one person at the end who has lived in Mostar his entire life. And I was asking him, do you consider yourself Bosnian or Herzegovina? And his answer was, it's the same country. It's all one country. And really the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina is a set of what they call 10 cantons, which I think are similar to states in the United States. And then um, a region of those cantons is Herzegovina. So it's kind of just a geographical region. We have heard that some people take it more seriously than others. So he may be on the other side of that, but that is just one person's opinion and is really fascinating to hear. Now that we've been learnt a little bit, nope. <laughs> Also, also <laughs> We're gonna yeah. head to the, the center of town. <laughs> We're gonna head to the center of town and see the mosque and a few of the other main sites. <laughs> We've seen videos of this, and this thing can go so much higher than we expected. We see life though. I haven't seen outside yet, but I've heard that this is the best view of the old bridge. So let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so beautiful and terrifying, but the breeze is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best view. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have a fear of heights until you do something like this. And my legs are so weak right now. <laughs> so little room. You definitely 
don't want to drop your phones or cameras. <laughs> That's a long, oh my gosh, my knees are so weak. It looks like there's somebody on the bridge. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, never mind, he's on this side. I thought we were about to witness somebody jump off. Oh wait, oh my gosh. Easy to see how this is the best view in the in the town. I can't believe we were up at the top with perfect timing to see that guy jump off of the bridge. I don't know if they do this as much anymore, but I've heard in the past sometimes they will take a long time just collecting donations and getting people excited before they actually jump. And we seriously, like within 30 seconds of us being at the top, he jumped off. So that just was such cool timing. I'm so happy we got to see that with that view. <laughs> I'm also, I'm so excited to get up on the bridge and look down and see how high of a drop it looks from there. I think I saw it's like 27 or 30 meters, so that's a huge drop. I think the biggest cliff jump I've done is about 10 meters, and oh my goodness, that one felt high. So three times that, I don't know if I could do it, but I don't know. I, I think this would be a great place to try it. I don't know if Marshall said already, but to get into the mosque, go up the tower, and to have this viewpoint down here, it was 28 Bosnian marks for both, like total for both of us. So about 14 US dollars. It's a little expensive, but definitely worth it. I mean, this was the first mosque that we've been into and it had the best view of the bridge and it's a beautiful mosque. And I, I'm happy we went in there. We were gonna head to lunch, but to get to lunch, we have to cross the bridge anyway. So I guess we'll show it off while we're here. We were just at the top of that. <laughs> That's insane. So this is how far they're jumping. I guess it doesn't look that crazy on camera. This is so steep. Yeah, it's super steep so much so that they have little like notches to put your feet on so that you don't slide around on it. It's pretty slippery too. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like half of the adrenaline, half of the fear would come from just climbing over this to get to where you could jump off of. I feel like that would be the, the scariest part for me, is actually trying not to fall off as you're climbing over. This does not provide a lot of room for air at all. So if you watched our Sarajevo video, we mentioned how walking through the historic market genuinely felt like walking through a place hundreds of years ago. And this very much feels like that, but on a more touristy level. It still has a very cool atmosphere that feels like you're walking around hundreds of years ago, but there's many, many more tourists than there were in Sarajevo, which is very <laughs> he looks so excited. Okay, in one of our last days in this country, we had to get Chivapi one more time. Oh wait, we didn't even get Chivapi. Oh no. no we didn't. Oh no, we didn't. We got sausages and chicken, so never mind. The last few Chivapi places we've been to, and this isn't Chivapi, but it's been like pretty dry and there's no sauce. This has been everything I've been wanting. It's come with cheese and the Ivar, which is like a paprika sauce. And some more cheese and oh some like yogurt sauce. That's all cheese? Yeah. That's so much cheese. Oh my gosh. Seriously, every item on this plate is just so flavorful. So delicious. What happened? <laughs> there was a piece of lettuce completely filled with cheese. Ah, okay. 
Just a few minutes away from the main bridge in the center of town is the Crooked Bridge. And this is really cool because it was the actual first bridge that was built and the oldest bridge still standing. It was used as a test run for the Starry Must Bridge, which is the, the big one in the middle of town. And so it's much smaller and in a much more secluded part of town. And it looks pretty much exactly the same, but it didn't turn out quite as well, which is why it's aptly named the Crooked Bridge. But still really cool to see. And there's much, much fewer tourists here. What's crazy is in a lot of other places, this might would be like the main attraction. Like, it's just super cold. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a, a river walk. And then there's this really fancy bridge right in the middle. But since there's so many other amazing sites around here, like there's barely any people over here. This definitely gives you a better sense of scale than being up there. It looks so tall from here. We really wanted to see some divers from this view, but as of right now, it doesn't look like there are any getting ready to jump. So if we want to see that, we may have to wait here a little while, but hopefully there'll be some up there soon. Yeah, this seriously looks like it's out of the movie. It does. There's still nobody up looking like they're getting ready to jump, so I think we might have missed our chance for this viewpoint today. It's about 5 o'clock, so I guess it's probably about time where they stop doing that. We may wait it out a little bit longer, but I don't think it's looking very good. It's just sitting in the water. <laughs> I really thought that dog was going to stop right here and take all the water right onto him. That's so cute. That was really cute. I think we're still going to be here a while because he just started collecting money it looks like, but they are doing more trips. While we're waiting for this guy to jump, I just want to say I it feels so surreal to be here right now. I mean, we have been thinking about coming here for so long and I've seen this spot on YouTube so many times and to actually be here and experiencing it just feels so crazy. I'm so happy that we're here right now. And it's just as good as I imagined it would be. It's so beautiful. It's perfect. It's, it's actually amazing. so much cooler. <laughs> yeah, it actually kind of is. I, I feel like I hadn't seen these structures really in videos before but they're so massive and so cool in person So from the time that we saw that guy show up to the time somebody actually jumped, it was about 30 minutes. So if you do come and it seems like it's taking a while, they will jump. They're just trying to get money first. So be patient and you will <laughs> see somebody do that. That was pretty <laughs> crazy from the bottom. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We have had such a great time in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here's a playlist with the rest of our videos from this country if you want to see more.